It's not long now until Tim Peake blasts into space. The first British European Space Agency astronaut is hoping to inspire us here on Earth about the excitement felt when the first Briton, Helen Sharman, made history in 1991. After a gap of 24 years since Helen Sharman flew to the Mir space station, the Union flag is going to be flown and worn in space once again, this time as part of the European Space Agency's human spaceflight program. What that means is that there's nothing to stop the school kids in Great Britain today from being amongst the first men and women to set foot on, on Mars in the future. Tim Peake has completed hours of intensive training so that he can start his six-month mission on the International Space Station. He will be carrying out dozens of experiments, including on his own body. There's 23 experiments I'll be doing on my own human body, on human physiology, for example. Um, we're looking at the immune system, which becomes depleted in microgravity, so we can learn a lot about the body's immune system. We're looking at energy expenditure, um, asthma. Um, we're looking at um, vaccine research as well, intracranial pressure and how we can develop methods for um, evaluating that. So th there's a, a long list of medical research we're doing. Tim Peake is also hoping to walk in space and is determined to share his unique experience with us Earthlings. He sets off to the skies on the 15th of December.